All right, guys, welcome back to day four. I'm really excited about today because we are going to be learning about something known as buttons. Now, if you have seen any kind of GUI program, any kind of software, every software has at least one button. It's that important. Now, before I get into this video, actually, I just wanted to share something funny that I thought about today. I was just thinking that everything that you say in life, it automatically becomes more funny when you add the word and shit after it. All right. So I'm going to be teaching you button and shit. All right. So it becomes a little bit more cooler. So me and my friend were having this discussion about this and shit uh, word at the end. And he wanted to take a piss, right? He wanted to go and take a piss. So he was like, hey, I'm going to take a piss and shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you get the joke, you laughed. If you didn't, it bombed. Not bombed, it bombed. But yeah, <laughs> that's the random uh, funny tangent of the day. So let's get back to actually building our uh, music media player, the melody music player. And um, today we are going to learn about buttons. But before that, let me run, just run this uh, main.py file to just check out the progress that we have made. We have the melody title, we have the icon, we have the text. And this is actually the 64 uh, by 64 pixel that I got from flaticon.com. If you haven't changed this play.png, make sure you go and download the 64 by 64 pixel and integrate it into your GUI window. If you're following along, if you are not, you're just learning about it uh, for fun, it's fine. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is actually convert this. This right now, it's just an image, right? You can't really click on it. It's not a button. All right, like like these buttons, like the, these green buttons over here. It's not a button. It's just an image right now. So what we need to do is convert this into a button. But before we convert this into a button, actually, let's understand a very, very basic button so that we have no confusion. Let me just uh, put it down. And to create a button, you just need to declare a variable. Let's just call it BTN. And then you need to use the function called button. And where do we want this button to appear? We want this button to appear in a root window. So we're just going to write root. And then what is the text? So we are just creating a new button over here. For example, we're not converting the play photo into a button right now. So just for example, I'm going to put in a text in it. So what text we want is, uh, let's say, let's just write play this shit because that's what we were discussing right now, right? And uh, as always with the label that you had to pack it, we also have to pack this button up because we want it to appear in our window. So let's pack this button up by writing button dot pack. And that's pretty much it. Let's uh, run this main dot by file again. And as you can see, there is this uh, play the shit button appears over here. Now, right now, when you click on this button, it's not actually doing anything, even though you can click on it. So let's actually make it clickable. All right, let's 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 make something happen when we click this button. So the third parameter that we require over here is called command, C-O-M-M-A-N-D. And what it is going to require is a function name that will get called whenever we click on this button. So I'm just going to call this function play underscore button. And we don't need to require, you don't require these, uh, these braces, these brackets over here uh, in, in the, the third parameter this just the name of the function is more than enough. So what we are going to do is we are going to create this play button function. So let's just create a function play underscore button. And then inside this, uh, we're just going to print out a statement. Hey, this play button works pretty well. All right, let's format this properly a little bit. All right, yeah, looks good. So what will happen is whenever we press this, uh, close this up, right now nothing is going to happen, but what we want is whenever we close this, uh, whenever we press this play this shit button, we want to uh, print, hey, this play button works pretty well, print it in our console over here. So that's our aim. So let's just check it out whether it works or not. Let me just close both of these mains and we are going to run it again. All right, so when, a, when we press this play the shit button, as you can see, there is a statement that's printed over here. Hey, this play button works pretty well. Now, obviously in a music player, we want to play some music after we press this button, but let's not worry about that right now. Maybe in the day five, we'll worry about it. But right now what we want is we want to convert this play button 
into an actual uh, play image into an actual play button instead of this uh, text button. So what we did in label was if you can remember instead of writing text equals to and the text inside it we just wrote image equals to photo and that's the exact same thing we need to do inside the button. So if you see here it's written button button root text equals to play the shit instead of that we can just uh, let's just copy this from over here and I'm just going to paste it over here actually I also need it over here so let's not remove it all right so let's run the file and now as you can see this image of play has been converted into a button as well and when you click on it hey this play button works pretty well so this play button is actually working congratulations now what we need to do is actually let's just remove this play image from here because we don't need it now so I'm just going to remove this label um, label thing from here uh, and actually I'm also going to let's see should I remove the def okay let's not remove it but let's actually format it a little bit more well so that it doesn't show us any errors and um, yeah this looks pretty well in the next video um, yeah I think it's it's time we learn how to play some music on Python so we'll be using something known as Pi game but uh, that's for day five so yeah that's pretty much it so in this video we learned how to make a button how to convert an image into a button and uh, yeah and print and how to print something or how to execute a function when a button is clicked so whenever a button is clicked it goes to this area where it goes to third parameter called command and then it finds this play but underscore button function remember it doesn't require these brackets over here so you don't need to put them over here otherwise it's going to throw you an error and after it goes to this command play underscore button it finds the function and then it prints the statement or executes whatever is below this function actually let me just um, cut this from here and paste this over here just so that it looks a little bit better and yeah this looks pretty well uh, i'll see you on day five